Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex and welcome back to a brand new video. So I know it's been a while since I created um, a real tutorial like the, my previous video was two weeks ago, but it was just me asking, you know, for you to send the source code. So um, a lot of people did send me the source code. So I want to thank you guys so much. Um, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be making this tutorial right now. So in the in the last real tutorial i promised that i'm gonna try and create a slider and i know how to do it because i actually thought of a simple way to do it it turns out that it's pretty easy uh so what we're gonna do now is we're only gonna create the slider we're not gonna create the content inside because if you go to airbnb.com for some reason, they actually removed the slider. So, yeah. Um, and also, another thing that I want to do is, I don't know why this isn't centered, so let me just check it out real quick. Um, obviously, this is not my code, so there might have been changes or something. I don't know. All right, 42. Um... I don't know, it seems about right. Oh, margin top minus 100, that's why. Right, it should be minus 24. There we go. Okay, so, um, we're gonna start off by including jQuery. So, you're gonna go write jQuery Google CDN. And then you go to developers.google.com. And I'm gonna click jQuery right here on the side and I'm gonna import the third version of jQuery I'm not sure if it's gonna work with two or one actually I'm sure that's gonna work with two but I'm not sure with one uh, and at the bottom of the page before the ending body tag I'm gonna write a comment JavaScript imports and then we, we include uh, jQuery right here. Now we are gonna make a j uh, JavaScript file, and I'm just gonna call it functions.js. There we go. And now we're also gonna include that. So script source equals func functions.js. There we go. Now I'm gonna test if um if jQuery and functions.js are loaded. So I'm gonna write body dot actually hold on a second. Uh document come on document dot ready uh two parentheses function inside two more parentheses and then curly brackets and then I'm gonna say alert come on uh, alert something so this means that when the document is loaded, it's going to alert something. And because it alerted it, it means that both jQuery and functions.js are now in our website. All right. So now we obviously need to create the markup. So that's going to be really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new div right below Jumbotron Arrow Wrapper. I'm going to give it an ID of slider wrapper. Slides wrapper actually let's say slides wrapper yeah. and then close it right here come on um and then I'm gonna create three divs and each div is gonna be a slide so slide div and then I'm just gonna write number one I'm gonna copy it and then paste it two more times two and three Let's refresh and there we go. So these three um, divs are slides. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, style them. So slider slides wrapper was it? Slides wrapper yeah. Wrapper position absolute with 100% height 100%. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, let's say background color like red so that we can see if we've actually loaded it. There we go. Um, remove this. 
Now we're gonna style each slide. Let me just remove the red color because it's too bright. So slide. We're also gonna give it position of absolute width of 100%, height 100%, background color. I'm gonna make it teal, so zero zero eight zero eight zero, and then there we go. Now you can see that here it only says three, so this is the third slide. And so basically, you're loading the when you load the page, and the active slide is the third slide. And to change that, we're gonna add the first slide of class of active. So whenever we load it, it's gonna uh, it's gonna load the first slide. Now obviously nothing is gonna happen because we haven't styled it. So I'm gonna say here display none, and then I'm gonna target slide with a class of active display. Come on, display block. I'm gonna refresh, and there we go. We have the first one. All right, so that's pretty much uh, all the styling we're gonna need for this today, uh, for this uh, episode. And now we're gonna get into the JavaScript, and I'm gonna write. Uh, I'm gonna explain everything uh, as we go. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make it so whenever we click this button or arrow, uh, something happens. So. Whenever we click on write jumbotron arrow, we're gonna run a function. So, um, write, write, uh, hold on a second, write uh, arrow. Now, okay, I'm gonna just make it like this. Uh, let me just copy the ID, write jumbotron arrow. So, write jumbotron arrow. Wait, hold on a second. Okay. Right, Jumbotron arrow dot click through two parentheses, function, two parentheses, curly brackets. So that means whenever we click on it, we're going to run a function. And let me just show you what I mean. Uh, let's say alert something. I'm going to refresh, click it, and it's going to alert it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to define two variables. So first var is going to be a current slide. And we're going to target a uh, slide with a class of active. Hold on a second. My cat uh, stepped on my laptop. OK, so uh, slide dot active. Then we're also going to make a next slide. Uh, and it's going to be current slide dot next which is a pre-built function jQuery, so that's why I want to use it. Uh, there we go, so that's pretty much all the variables we're going to need for this <laughs> function. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to animate them. So we're not going to be making the slide animation, we're actually more going to be like fading it, so we're going to be switching between display block and display none. Um, but it's going to be a lot smoother than you think. So. Let me just show you what I mean. So I'm gonna say current slide. Let me just do this. Current slide dot remove class active. No, hold on a second. Dot fade out 300 milliseconds dot remove class active. All right. So let me explain what this is gonna do. Uh, actually, no. First, I'm gonna uh, create the next slide as well. So, next slide dot fade in this time 300 milliseconds, and then we're gonna add add the class of active. Okay, now let's test it out, and you can see that it works perfectly. Except that here it's a blank, but we're gonna fix that in a second. All right. So let me explain how this works. So you might think, well, when you remove the slide, how is it going to know that it's the next slide uh, to add the class of the next slide when the current slide is not defined because I removed the class of active? Well, that's why we create two variables right here. And what those two variables do are basically um, when you click on the function, they get predefined. So 
um, current slide is predefined, and then next slide is predefined. So whenever we click on current slide, uh, so whenever we move the class of active on current slide, it's it's um, going to remove the class here. So it's going to be like this. But it, it next slide is also um, defined, so it's going to know uh, which element should get the class of active. So and that happens every time we click it and so every time we click it a new variable gets defined because you know a, a new div has a class of active so how that makes sense um i'm not sure that i explained it really well but in my head it sounded uh, i guess okay but i hope you guys get it um now we're gonna write a simple if statement because as you can see when we go to the third div and click next it disappears so we're gonna say if next slide dot length equals zero. What that means is if there is nothing after, uh, if there is no next slide actually, that's what it means because um, next slide should return one. Uh, you know dot length should return one because there is one next element. But if there is nothing after that, it's gonna return zero. So that's how we're gonna know if there's nothing after that. So next dot slide length. Um, then we're gonna say sl uh, hold on a second slide dot first also prebuilt function dot fade in three hundred dot add class active let's test this out one two three one two three one two three and so on perfect that's exactly what we wanted so let's create now when we click on the previous so actually this is going to be right Next arrow. Now we're gonna uh, make the same for when you click on the previous button. So uh, left jumbotron wrapper. I uh, mean arrow. So let's write a comment left or previous previous arrow. And then left jumbotron arrow. Why is there a dollar sign? dot click function we're now also going to create i mean define two variables so of our current slide basically the same thing so dot slide dot active and then var previous slide this time is going to be uh current slide and i i guess i'm pretty sure you guessed it dot prev which stands for previous, which is also a prebuilt function in jQuery. All right. Um, now we're pretty much gonna do exactly the same as here. So current slide dot remove uh, dot fade out first. Three hundred dot remove class. Three hundred. No. Nope. Three hundred. And then previous slide this time dot fade in three hundred dot add class uh, active. Okay, this is stupid. Active. Uh, obviously, when we click on the previous, it's gonna show a blank. But let's go to the third part, to the third div, and you can see that we're actually going back. Now, as we go uh, behind, uh, I mean previous to the first slide you're gonna see that there's nothing after that so we're gonna create again an if statement which is absolutely the same Pre previous slide dot length equals zero slide uh, dot last this time yeah okay slide dot last uh, also prebuilt function in jQuery fade in 300 dot add class active all right let's check this out so one three two one and then we can go back as much as we want so I think this is gonna be it for this tutorial I mean it's not really long so that's perfect um 
In the next tutorial, I'm probably gonna make dots right here so you know they show on which slide you are uh we can make them automatic generate automatically but i think it's going to be easier if we make them uh static so we just create this uh but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace